the detours in life. Right. And sometimes that uh, it may take that to keep you on track. Absolutely. Because probably without this detour, I don't know what I'd be running like the way I run, believing right. the mm -hmm. way I believe or have the faith that I have Right. Today, without those storms, see, because I see him make a way out of nowhere. Yes, yes, I learned yes, him to be yes, a habit breaker. Yes. I, I, I found him to be a strength like no other. Oh, yes. Thank God for that road that led yeah. me uh, to grow. You know, so. It's a process. Conversion is a process. It's not something that happened right now. Uh, but so it's important to know how it's going to end and that you finish. Mm -hmm. and the race is not given to the swift. Neither to the strong, but to the one that endure until the end. And and I like the way Eddie Kane ended up. Yeah, I liked it too. And, and I think it's a blessing to the Lord the way that you are ended up. Man. To God it's a be blessing, the Lord, pal. Blessing to many people. All right, let's see who we got up in here today. What's going on here, Brother Joel? What's going on, man? How you doing? All right, man? Good, to good, to man. You, good to see you, man. Good to see you, sir. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Once again, uh, I am so honored to have such a great man of God with me today. Once again, man, Pastor Floyd McLaughlin, thank, thank you, you thank for you. joining thank us you. today. Thank you. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> and man, we go way back. Way back. <laughs> way back. I and don't tell it all. I ain't going to tell all of them. Don't tell everything. Uh, I watched uh, him grow. I remember uh, Spring Hill days, the, rate, the late, great Reverend absolutely. Johnny Jones when you was his musician and a young minister. Absolutely. I believe I just came into fold and hey, Mama Harold and Miss right. Pearl, they just brought me in. Right, right. And right, at, at that right. time, what was amazing then was uh, they brought me in and I was coming in as musician. You uh -huh. was getting ready to go. You wow. had work to do. Okay. God okay. was working then. Amen. And Amen. now look at how he's brought us back Absolutely. today. I Absolutely. watched you pastor uh, at <laughs> St. Joseph. And yes, yes, yes. I remember when you got rising sun. How many yes, years? Yes, uh, 25 years. 25 and, and years. And the only reason I know that because we just had an anniversary. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. 25, 25 years. 25 years. So I can, I guess you can truly say after 25 years, you've seen some good days, some bad days, some oh. ups and some downs. Oh, some, absolutely. Yeah, some absolutely. trials. And absolutely. Through it all, God has, has blessed you and kept you. Absolutely. So and God, and that's the blessing about it. Uh, mm -hmm. Those experiences. Uh, I've seen people grow. Mm -hmm. seen young people, you know, there was children. Yeah. And I've seen them grow up and, and move away and come back. And some leave and not come back. Uh, there are times when the church is uh, plentiful, you know, there's people everywhere. And then there are times when you wonder where the people are. So there, there's so many different changes and so many learning experiences, but I am grateful for it. I am grateful. Amen. Yes, sir. Speaking of some of the challenges, uh, yeah. uh, one of the challenges that I think that was obvious for a lot of us that knew you, uh, that knew you right, as a right, pastor right, or right. a friend or family, mm -hmm. we remember when Angel uh, was sick and right. everybody was soliciting the prayers of right. the righteous and, uh, yes, and she yes. was in and out of the hospital. As a man, as a father, and as a preacher, mm -hmm. uh, how was that for you to pray for other members? Mm -hmm. I mean, go to the hospital and you see her fighting for her life. The next Sunday, you return someone else is sick, and mm -hmm. you got to pray for somebody else. Right, right. Uh, you got to preach about faith, mm -hmm. and prayer changes things. Right, right. At the same time, you're seeing your daughter sick. You may even see people that you prayed for and heard that they was doing better. Absolutely. Talk to me, Pastor. Absolutely. Those, those were challenging times. And, and uh, the thing about it, that most people, when I say most people, people on my job, they didn't know I was going through that. They didn't know that I had a, a sick daughter and what she was going through. Uh, many of the people at the different churches, they didn't know. Uh, for a while, uh, the people at church didn't know the extent of her illness. Wow. 
Uh, but man, man, God has a way. If he if he calls you, uh, then he prepares you. Uh, he know. Mm-hmm. And, and for a while, I felt that this was a a kind of a test for me. But my challenge as a father was, as a father, that a father is supposed to be able to to fix everything for the children. Right. You know, uh, I, I couldn't fix that. Wow. <laughs> And that w- that was challenging for me, and uh, what Angel went through, and, and uh, of course I let her tell it for right. herself one day. Yeah. But uh, after having her first child, and and the illness started then, and it just seemed to uh, progress, get worse and worse as mm-hmm. the years went on. So you were talking about something that probably went on for about fifteen years, and I wasn't so much worried about m- myself. But my concern was for her and for my granddaughter. Uh, just watching the suffering, and, and when I say suffering, if anybody out there that has ever had a, a pancreas problem, uh, the pain wow. that occurs, and there was no cure for it. So it went from one degree to another degree where a kidney stopped working, and uh, now she needs a pancreas. Uh, but God is an able wow. God. I had to keep moving. Ooh, yeah. I knew what my job was as a pastor. And, and, and my favorite subject of preaching, where I felt more comfortable at, was faith. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith, the substance of things, hope for the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. So in a way, I felt that I was being tested many times by God to see exactly where where I was in my faith. Mm. Uh, so there were times. <laughs> mm. There was always someone sick, uh, visiting in the sick, and uh, uh, things that happened at church. And, and not only sickness, but you deal with quite a few things in church, yeah. personal things, uh, mm. things on the job. And you have to go on. And there were times when uh, you would question things. There were times when I would question uh, myself. You hear people say, don't question God. Look, look, God is God. God yeah. know all things. Man, I'm glad God is God. Yes, he, he's not man. He, he know our hearts. Yeah. Uh, but there were times when I would question myself. I would question my calling and uh, what's this thing happening because of something I have done? And then, I, then we would go back to that word, Romans 8 and 28, all things. Yes, sir. Uh, all things mm-hmm. work together. And I, and I had to remember that. I had to keep quoting that when things got his hardest, uh, that God is working something great. Wow. God is working. I can't see it. Right. Uh, I want it to happen right now, but, but, but I got to believe that faith that I preach about and that I teach, uh, I got to know that God is working something. So each, each day, each year, you know, it's going to happen. It's about to happen. Right. God is about to work something, but there, there were tears, there were doubts, there were challenges, but you have to find something in the scripture to keep you going on. And, and, and man, God has never let me down. Wow. wow. He's never let us down. I like that. Yeah. You said uh, something is it's going to happen. It's uh, like, it's that expectation that absolutely. I think God expects from us. Absolutely. Did um, I remember when I used to be running the streets and uh-huh. and I would go to the store, but I would see my dad in there. Right. I right. would go and go in the store because I knew he was in there, and then I make sure I did it intentionally get in line. <laughs> I grabbed stuff that I didn't have enough money for. Uh-huh. You need three or four uh, more dollars, something like that. And so uh-huh. I just go in empty pockets. And dad right, said, right. "Don't worry about it." Uh-huh. I got it. Wow. 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 Thank God wow. we have a father. A father. <laughs> Thank God we have a father. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God we have a hey, father. Hey, <laughs> no matter what Praise it is, God. he said, like, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> no matter Amen. what the cost, I got it. Praise Even God. on the cross, no matter what it is that it called or what it is, uh-huh. I got it. Absolutely. I got it. So, wow. <laughs> Praise God. I got it. And, and, and my concern wasn't really, it, it hurt me most. My wife was there. Wow, and she yeah. was really the one that 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 took care of things, and she would she would be the one to go back and forth to the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I would concentrate on trying to keep my mind clear to go to work, uh, to do the things that I needed to do, to make sure that, that things was happening at the home mm-hmm. that needed to happen. But my wife, she's, uh, I just thank God for her. I thank God for her anointing. And I thank God for the anointing that was on my daughter uh, to, to go through those things and, and, and to think about the things she obviously felt seeing her friends going with their life and, and her not being able to. But Joel, she made it through that. Wow. You know, and, and oftentimes she and she would never forget that that God is an able God. Even I think when at times that she might have doubted, she wow. still continued to believe and call on the name of Jesus. You got to have something that is stronger than than you and I. You know, that's stronger than mom and dad. She know we love her, but, but she had to know that God loves her even more. And then he, better than that, he's able to do something about that situation. Yeah. Well, there's two things I want to get, the uh, last thing I want to get out of you. Uh, <laughs> even in them times uh, when it was time to preach, uh-huh. did that make preaching easy? Did it, uh, you know, uh, I mean, did it burn a fire in you to go in and preach this gospel? Or did it make it hard sometimes to go in there and preach? Well, I think um, it, it made it tough when I was preparing, oh, when I was preparing for uh, a message. And I, it was just me, myself, mm-hmm. and the Lord and the Word. And, and when you run across things, uh, then it, it calls you to question yourself and question other things. But once you get in that pool pit, uh, once the Holy Spirit takes over, yes, sir. you don't even think about those things. You, okay. You're not thinking about the things that, that you are going through, but you're thinking about the Holy Spirit kind of takes over and lead you and guide you uh, into where we need to be. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit will, will speak for you. Yes, Holy sir. Spirit will pray for you. Yes, it will. <laughs> and I am so grateful for that. Uh, yeah. Challenging always. Mm-hmm. When I came out of that pulpit, yeah. going home, uh, but knowing that God is able. And then I had so many people around me, man, pastors and, and friends, people like yourself, that I knew that was praying for us. At that time, I was a part of the uh, uh, association in Tunica. Mm-hmm. And when we was going through uh, so many things, COVID, mm-hmm. uh, there were several pastors that was there. I won't, I won't call their name, but I had an opportunity to give them a call one day uh, several pastors, and, and, and we, we asked for prayer, and prayer began right then on the phone. Let me tell you something, prayer changes things. <laughs> yes, sir. You know that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely, yes, you know sir. that. Uh, God is an awesome God. He is. To God. Be the glory. Be the glory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Before we get out of here, Pastor, uh, uh, somebody probably uh, sitting where... You once said, I think that was in Ezekiel 3 and 15, one of my favorite scriptures. I sat where you sat. Sat And I believe these storms and these tests and trials of life Mm -hmm. are for us to encourage others. Right. So uh, looking in that camera and talk to somebody (laughs) that's sitting there um, in that waiting room. Right, right. Or at home and there are child is in the hospital and it don't look good in the doctor's sick and say, what could you tell somebody and encourage them with today? Well, I would say to them that, that God is the same God. He's the same God. I believe in, in James when it says our trials come to make us stronger. I believe that because I've been there. And no doubt that you have been through something too. This is not the first time you've gone through something. This is not the first time that you had challenges, whatever they may be. But God got you through them. And God will get you through this also. Continue to trust God. Find you. We don't have to know all the words of God, but find a scripture that you can trust and believe and stay with that word. And again, remember all things, all things work together for the good of them that love God. Look, we got to love him. We got to believe him. We got to trust him. Got to love him, believe him, and trust him. And God will see you through. Remain faithful to God, and God will remain faithful to you. I hope that bless someone. Amen. Amen.
Praise well, God. thank God again for you coming and joining man, me, man, Pastor. Man, I thank God for an opportunity right. to be here, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Long time. Yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to close this with one of Pastor's favorite uh, uh -huh. closing. Until uh -huh. next time. Praise God. To God. Be the glory. Be the glory. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless. Pastor, yeah. I might get you, 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 look, you still, you know what, since we got, we got two minutes of the temptation. Better, uh, you, the temptation. You better let me hear yeah. something. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't get it. laughs> if if we're going to do something, you better let me hear, <laughs> hear a little bit first. Oh, okay, well, you, you sure you want to hang with O.A. the K? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, look, that was a part that of it. That was a part of it. <laughs> that was a part of it. You Man. Oh, well, we won't get no, into you that. Good, you good. You <laughs> Remember how it turned out where Eddie Kane ended up, didn't he? He, he did. He, he got he wound up in church. in the choir. Yeah, on the piano. Absolutely. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, 